everybody and welcome to video 8. I thought today I would give you a rundown of a monitor that I found that works with the Atari ST. This will be a Dell P2314H, a 23 inch widescreen monitor manufactured I think in 2016 possibly maybe 2015 but even though it only sinks down supposedly to 50 Hertz it actually works at 15 kilohertz on the Atari ST and I'll show you this by trying Pac-Mania so there's no sound on this monitor because currently it's going through the VGA port and my speakers are connected to my main PC but fear not the Atari is actually outputting full stereo sound on the STE to my speakers and I will probably do another video showing you the audio working and also the toss switch the BIOS board upgrade thingy and how the VGA switch box works but as you can see back menu is loading it's very chunky and blocky because it's expanding the 320 by 200 screen to essentially 1920 by 1080 so I'll move the camera so you get a better screenshot of this game loading as you can hear the floppy drive in the background it's reading the game it's a very nice bright red it has to be said and there's the game now as I said before there's no music no sound on this because I don't think they actually have an audio output on this Dell monitor unlike my non 15 kilohertz LG 3D cinema screen which has a um, headphones out some monitors do some monitors don't anyway this monitor works fantastic with the Atari ST as you can see but as I said before it's very blocky there is a way <coughs> of reducing the blocks by shrinking the screen right down to the center but it's not worth it I don't mind it being blocky it gives it sort of like an additional retro sort of feel but as you can see this is my bad attempt at playing Pac-Mania you can hear my keys in the background as I'm fondling them to try and get the game working so it's not a bad game and it looks okay on the big monitor um, I do think maybe I'll try and get that white border a bit smaller because this monitor doesn't actually lose its settings once you turn it off which is quite good and that also helps for high res mode which we'll see further on in the video so we'll just uh, wait while the game finishes I did actually play this a bit too long but it is quite a nice game and I do like Pac-Man the Atari keyboard is actually quite noisy even though it's not mechanical as you can I mean you can't hear on this video but in the video I actually recorded on the, the camera which was really bad quality you can hear me key, clicking the keys the key clicks are quite loud right well I think that's enough of this game let's try something else Okay, let's try Nebulous, another one of my games that I like, not a favourite but you know, I don't mind playing it every now and again, Tower 
Toppler maybe I think it was called on other machines don't know but again as you'll see the screen is very blocky um, I can't honestly remember what it looked like on the Atari colour monitor with it being only 12 inches it may have looked really good quality um, unfortunately I don't have an original Atari monochrome or colour monitor to test it with and of the few monitors I've already bought previously on eBay that supposedly did work at 15 kilohertz don't actually work so this is the first monitor I've managed to find that does what it says on the tin for the Atari now presumably it'll do the same thing for the Amiga and any other machine that will support 15 kilohertz RGB output now I do want to try and make an RGB output lead for my new Tatung Einstein when I receive that as you will have seen in the previous video 7 um, because that apparently has the same outputs as a BBC Micro and I do have in storage a BBC Micro RGB to SCART cable which I can try on a TV and then build an RGB to VGA monitor cable to see whether it works on the Dell P2314H anyway enough of that on to playing the game if I can actually find what keys start it oh, there we go and I think I've either paused the game or it's crashed which is a bit of a so and so that's a fail oh dear but it still looks good on the screen I love those colours time for another disc change so what can we try now <clears throat> let's see okay so as you can see low resolution 15 kilohertz desktop has worked with TOS 1.62 loaded so you can tell that with the 1989 being the last date on the BIOS as you've just seen then so we'll load sysinfo up quickly oh this camera's doing my head and keep refocusing it's not good oh so there we go the program will only work in medium or high res low res fail <clears throat> never mind let's change the resolution that's quite easy to do there we go so medium resolution works and it's nice and clear and nice and stable I love that picture that's my self made my homemade VGA RGB switch box so here we go this is working fine now so we've got my 1040 ST even though it's a 520 STE but as you can see TOS 1.62 and it's in medium resolution so let's try changing the resolution for you flip my switch which is here so that was colour mode just a basic little box with RGB input one side VGA the other so colour one side as we had before monochrome on that flick switch and we'll turn on look and it works with high resolution now this is quite interesting because I've had to manually move the monitor settings on the menu to make it centered and to expand it as far as possible but I can't get rid of that stripy background so again 1989 TOS 1.62 high resolution 640 by 400 as we will see with sysinfo so there we go TOS 1.62 but ST high resolution 640 by 400 in two colours brilliant right let's try the new version of TOS 
Right, toss switch flicked, toss 2.06, as you can tell, it has the Atari logo now, which it didn't before. Oh, stop refocusing your stupid camera, and it now does the RAM test, which you can abort by pressing the escape key. And the monitor switch box is still in monochrome. So there we go. So there's your, new, your two new uh, dates, 1990 1991. Try and fix this camera by focusing on the screen. Oh, there we go, that seems to have worked. Excellent. No, maybe it hasn't. Okay, so TOS 2.06 and high resolution. Still two colours, still 640 by 400. Right, let's try lower medium resolution. Switch box back to colour. Turn on the machine. Atari logo, as we expect to see from 206. So, incidentally, I got my TOS switch box, my TOS switcher from Exos via eBay. It was, re it was pre assembled. So I don't have to worry about soldering or anything, but it seems fairly easy. So, as you can see, the background looks different. It's actually like a hatch pattern, and still the same there. No cycling colours, but the 1990. Now also, the medium resolution here, but you can also tell it's 206 because you have the desktop configuration option which you don't have in the normal original versions. This is quite impressive. And there's four megs. It's excellent. It's a very deep green on that background. The, the screen quality is amazing on this monitor. So rich the colors, and I'm sure I've not got it set properly anyway. So there we go, 602 and 640 by 200 in four colours. Brilliant. So medium res works and high res works. I'm happy. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you enjoy the channel please give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down. Leave me a comment or two but thanks for watching. See you soon.